Okay, back again. Um, that's interesting. When uh, I had this generator, <coughs> this one here, running off this um, adjustable DC power supply, at its minimal, it pretty much stayed the same place. But my reading on the cell was 2.4 volts. Now that I've changed the plates to 2 mil gap, I'm getting a reading far higher to around about 2.991. Now, uh, so if it draws less current, the voltage goes up. That makes sense. I've seen a lot of uh, that activity. Um, let's see what happens now if I uh, squeeze on this cell. I'm just squeezing this cell here and we'll watch that. One, two, three. Well, oh, there you go. Look at that. Interesting. So, what that means in practical terms, I haven't got my head around yet. But just off the cuff, I'm thinking if you want to be able to run your cell off an alternator output, you can pretty easily determine the current draw and voltage draw if you take out the other variables. If they're variables, it means they can be varied, therefore you can actually adjust the thickness of the plates in your cell, which we all know, but you can actually start to do it a little bit to a formula. I think uh, you could get a few constants if you took some readings. You got the three, four variables, the distance between plates, possibly plate material as well, of course, like titanium as opposed to 316 grade L steel. Um, the electrolyte, the voltage, and the current. So there's five variables, I'm sure there's more. But you could create some sort of um, formula. Wouldn't be accurate because there's variables within variables, of course. Um, heat is another variable, of course, there. But uh, as you can see, when I squeeze on this plate, uh, there we go, I'm blocking the light, I have to do it with the other hand, um, it lowers the voltage. So the closer the plates, the less voltage um, will be necessary. So if you had a 1 mil gap, you might get that down to 2.5 volts that it will draw. And um, 2.5 times 10. Uh, cells would be, um, oh sorry, 2.5 times 5 is 12.5, so uh, you're around about the 12.8, coming to the 13.4 sort of uh, output of an alternator, so yeah, a bit of food for thought, and I um, don't know what it means in practical terms, but I'm sure you could apply these things. Okay, so that's the copper plated uh, stainless steel 316L cell under test. We're just going to leave it for 24 hours at uh, around about 2.5 volts or 3 volts, that says. That's at the cell, too. That's not at the output, it's actually at the cell plates. If I put those connectors right on the cell plates, that probably drops down another. 0.2 or 3, so it goes 2.965 uh, or something. You do get a little bit of loss. So, um, yeah, it certainly is food for thought. I love that saying. I think Miss Kelly uses it too. He's a Queenslander. Okay. So there you go. I'm just going to top that water up. Um, is that that cell won't be uh, anywhere near